first project is this simple stamped disc necklace. For this necklace, I will be using 0.5mm gold filled sheet, 16 inches gold filled chain, finished one, and a gold filled jump ring to attach the disc onto the chain. I will start by cutting the disc out of the gold filled metal sheet with the Pepe Tools disc cutter. For this type of pendant, I couldn't choose between two sizes, which are on the screen right now. Eventually, I decided to go for a slightly smaller one for a bit more subtle effect. I will cut the disc using a brass mallet as it has a proper weight and works best. Gold filled is harder than silver, so it took me several blows to cut the disc. But as you can see, the shape is perfect and the edges are clean. Next step will be to sand and pre-polish the disc before stamping. After cutting, one side is smoother, but the other side could use some sanding to even out the surface. For that, you can use sanding sticks or even nail buffing sticks available at pound shops. I've sanded the edges using a high grit sanding stick, for example 1200. We don't want to remove too much of the gold layer, nor to put unnecessary scratches on the surface. It might take a bit longer to soften the edges with this stick, as it's not abrasive. Then I've cleaned the surface with a gentle nail buffing and polishing stick. Right time for stamping. I'm going to go for a very minimalistic look and I will use a single stamp with my zodiac sign, a Cancer. I gently mark the middle of the disc using a ruler and a pencil. I will be using Pepe Tool stamping block and the fret stamping hammer. I fixed the disc onto the stamping block with the washi tape, so it doesn't move while stamping. Due to stamping, the disc might bend a little, so use a rawhide mallet to flatten it. Then use dry and wet papers, buffing sticks or nail buffing accessories to clean and polish the surface. At this point you can choose what kind of finish you want to go for, brushed, matte or polished. Next step is to make a hole in the disc for the jump ring. You can use the drill or hole punching pliers like the ones I'm using. Luckily, since the metal sheet is quite thin here, not a lot of force is required to punch a hole. All we have to do now is to put the jump ring through the disc using pliers and attach it onto the chain. Your gold-filled disc necklace is ready and it's perfect for layering with other necklaces. For our next project, we will make an organic-looking wrapped gold-filled ring using soft 20-gauge gold-filled wire. First, Check what's your size using a ring sizer. Then double check it with the mandrel to make sure it's correct and aligns. I'm straightening the wire using nylon pliers. 
I will then wrap it around the mandrel using a size smaller than my own. The ring will eventually land on my size once I start shaping it and hammering on it. Use a rawhide mallet to shape the wire around the mandrel. Use pliers, ideally half round ones, to add shapes to the wire and to help it twist and tangle. Don't worry if the wrap isn't perfect at first. The idea is to create an organic, even a bit messy looking wrap. All you need to do is to make sure that you are wrapping around a slightly smaller size, so when you start shaping the wire, the ring won't become much larger than expected. My initial wrapped ring is ready and as you can see, it is my size, even though I was wrapping it around a smaller one. I will now work on the shape and tangle some more and will smooth out the edges as well. For that, I will use sanding and buffing sticks. If you have a rotary tool, you can use burrs to round up the edges. And the ring is ready. You can turn it around to see which side has a better look. It's a simple ring, but has an interesting organic look. As a bonus, here is a very quick and easy ring project, no solder required either. Simply bend the ring twice and make sure the edges overlap. You can add this easy stacker to other rings. It looks nice on the fan too. You can wear it by itself or pair it with other rings. If you want to see how to make other Goldsville rings and the ones with gemstones too, make sure you check out my other tutorial linked above and in the description box under the video. This video has been sponsored by amazing Pepe Jules who brought you this tutorial. Thank you so much Pepe for supporting my channel and community of makers. Check out the description box below to see tools that I've used in this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!